a treat that's long been linked to obesity, which in turn is strongly associated with cancer. But a new study suggests obesity and weight gain might not be the only drivers of the link between sugary drinks and the disease. So the lessons that we learn is that they couldn't find sugar to be a cause of the cancer, but there's a contributory link. French researchers also suggest this link is just as strong with fruit juices as it is with other sugary drinks. Now we have the added story of fruit juice, 100%, and I say it may be condensed more, and that is where the additional fruit sugar comes from, the fructose, but we now know that that is just as implicated. But luckily this doesn't mean cutting out fruit juice completely. Like many other things, it comes down to moderation. Experts say it's better to eat fresh fruit or limit fruit juice to half a cup per day. Say on average everyone should be having about two fruit servings a day, so two pieces of fresh fruit. Um, and some people get that, some people love fresh fruit and it's readily available to them and it's something that they're able to do. Other people you'll find will be having six to seven portions of fresh fruit a day, especially when they have it for like breakfast as a fruit salad. And on top of that, they'll be drinking a glass to two glasses of fruit juice a day. So they could easily be having nine to ten servings of fruit a day. The study was conducted over nine years and with over 100,000 people. The authors have, however, called for the relationship between sugar and cancer to be further investigated. Janke Tolmay, Johannesburg.